pulmonary veins open into this area right here known as the what? The left atrium. When I leave the left atrium, I got to go through this valve known as the bicuspid or mitral valve. And then I'm going to enter into this cute chamber right here known as the left ventricle. Now some of you all can't see, but the left ventricle is going to allow me to enter into the aorta through this area right here. What is that area called, Mr. Gilmore? This is called the, if you can see it, aortic valve. The number is like 45 down in there. That's the aortic valve, as you can see it. All right? Now we're going to play this a little bit more. Everybody ready? I'm going to slide down and look at the top part of the heart. The top part of the heart, we'll notice, coming off the aorta, the first valve is going to be the what? Brachiocephalic artery. It's going to split the brachiocephalic artery. It's going to split into the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid. That makes this the left common carotid, and that makes this the left subclavian. Oh, Mr. Gilmore, what is this junction point between the aorta and the pulmonary trunk? There is what we call the ligament arteriosus. Ligament arteriosus. Oh, Mr. Gilmore, I kind of understand it now. We're going to get there. Anytime someone says a vessel on the heart, you can denote it as being a what? Coronary vessel. All right, we got that, Mr. Gilmore. Well, what is it, the sulcus that runs longitudinal on the anterior part of the heart? His name is longitudinal sulcus or ventricular sulcus because I run the length of the heart right here. But Mr. Gilmore, what happens if you were looking at it from the posterior aspect and he runs straight across? His name is going to be transverse sulcus. Transverse sulcus. All right, so we got that lock and load, Mr. Gilmore. But Mr. Gilmore, can you tell us, if I'm looking at this, what is this structure and what is this structure? This structure right here is the inferior vena cava. So that makes this the superior vena cava. Okay, Mr. Gilmore, I kind of got that. Then you're going to see that this model just help us understood the actual heart. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing is, this one right here shows you how bypass work. All right? I'm going to take this and table it, and now I'm going to look at a real bovine heart. The one that came out the cow. Now, the sulcus is a... A depression, a groove. That's a good question. I'm going to start like this here, though. Can you go like that? All right. If you notice, there's an area right here. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's what we call longitudinal <coughs> sulcus. What's another word for longitudinal sulcus? Ventricular sulcus. If that's my longitudinal ventricular sulcus, if I look, because this is anterior, on the posterior aspect, Mr. Gilmore, there's one that goes like this, straight across. Mm -hmm. His name is transverse sulcus or coronary sulcus. You see that? All right. Anytime I tag a vessel, what is that going to be called? <coughs> coronary vessel of the heart. Y'all ain't got to learn all the, the different names. All right. Not right now. But let's play the game. You ready? If I'm looking at this, let me get an orientation, Mr. Gilmore. Coming up, this is, has to be the pulmonary trunk. So what is this, Mr. Gilmore? The A or we can't, can't see, see it. See it. <clears throat> this is the pulmonary trunk. So this means this is the what? A or. So what connects the two? The ligament arteriosus. What is all this stuff I can stick? That's just fat. That's adipose on the heart. That's just fat. What is this ear flap on this side? That's left oracle. If that's left oracle, what does this one mean? Right, right, right. right oracle. Now, if that much is true, we're going to take, I'm sorry, we're going to take, I got one. We're going to take the heart and open it up. And we're going to make sure everybody understands this. Okay. All right. So watch this right here. I got this outer layer of the heart. His name is epicardium. I got this middle layer of the heart, muscle-wise. 
His name is myocardium. And I got the slick inside lining of the chambers. His name is endocardium. So I got epicardium, myocardium, endocardium. Not the pick one people spoke, but the inside of the heart. Does that make sense? Now, if that much is true, Mr. Gilmore, I noticed there are some little cords that insert onto these valves. The cords that insert onto valves are called coordinate tendinae. Coordinate tendinae. All right? But if you notice, I got these little holes right here in the inside muscle. Those are called trabeculae. Another term that can be called trabeculae is this. It connects from wall to wall. That's a trabeculae. But Mr. Gilmore, what would you call a septum that divides two ventricles? This is going to be called ventricular septum because it divides two ventricles. All right? If that much is true, Mr. Gilmore, what is this muscle that these coordinate tendinate are coming from? These are called papillary muscles. These are called papillary muscles. Well, Mr. Gilmore, I want you to understand something. I ain't no anatomist, so I need you to tell me where these chambers are. This chamber is the left atrium. This chamber is the left ventricle, which is the largest chamber. It is separated by this valve, which is bicuspid or mitral valve. Do that again. This is left atrium, this is left ventricle, and it's separated by who? Bicuspid or mitral valve. <coughs> Sounds good. Now, Mr. Gilmore, this is one chamber, and here's another one. How do you know that? Because here is a valve. So this chamber is what? Right atrium. This chamber is right ventricle. What valve separates it? The tricuspid valve. And again, we got these coordinate tendinate that connect to it. But well, Mr. Gilmore, can you tell me what is this? You see this right here? I'm going to show y'all something because I need y'all to get this concept. Watch this here. I'm leaving what? Left Le the left atrium going to the left ventricle. What valve is this? Bicuspid or mitral. So, Mr. Gilmore, there's a valve right here. When I'm leaving the left ventricle and I'm going through to try to get out the body, get to the body, I'm going through this valve. What is this valve called? Aortic valve. This is my aortic valve because I'm leaving the left ventricle and I'm trying to get out to the rest of the body through the aorta. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So this valve, if y'all can see that, is the aortic valve. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, now watch this. It ain't gonna make sense until I do this part. You see, I'm, I'm pushing, see this? Okay, I'm pushing through the pulmonary trunk now. I'm gonna watch this right here. I'm leaving, if y'all can see this, I was in this chamber, same chamber, right ventricle, and I go up through it, which you can't see down up in there. But I'm going up through that. What is what valve am I gonna go through in order to see that? Semilunar. Pulmonary semilunar valve. <coughs> but you probably won't see it on here. So guess what I'm gonna put it on? The model because you can't see it well in these parts. It's too deep. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, a couple more things I want to show you. What do you think this is? It was once outside the heart and it kept pericardial. pericardial sac. So this is the pericardial sac. All right? Really and truthfully, that's all I'm going to ask you on this test. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So let's go down your list. Let's go down your list so everybody know. You ready? Mm -hmm. You want this list because you got to highlight it. Or oh, somebody else going to hook y'all up. Because I'm done with that part.